بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله الأمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to a new episode of Ask Huda Before we take your calls or until you call us I'd like to mention something uh, that a lot of the Muslims seem to ignore. And that is the importance of the role of the parents in Islam. Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, asked the Prophet والسلام, once and he said, O Prophet of Allah, what is the best deed to Allah Azza wa Jal? What is the most appropriate? What is the most deed that brings, brings pleasure to Allah Azza wa Jal? And the Prophet said وسلم, to pray on time. So Ibn Mas'ud said, then what? The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, to be respectful and obedient to your parents. And then the Prophet, uh, Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud said, and then what? And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, jihad in the cause of Allah. The role of respecting and being obedient to the parents is something that Islam looks at highly. And it is so important that even if the parents were non-Muslim, Islam instructs the individual to be kind, obedient, and respectful to his parents. And in Islam, it is something that a lot of the non-Muslims are astonished by, especially in the West, where they tend to neglect their parents when they're old, because they think that they have no use for them. In Islam, it's completely different. When a parent is 60 years of age or older, he is like a king among his subjects. All of his offspring, his sons, his grandsons, are trying their level best to take him in and have the honor of having them or him or her in their house. And the child that wins this privilege, this honor, he always boasts about it and he feels that he has the whole world in his hands. Because he does not see his parents to be a burden. On the contrary, he sees them as a gateway to paradise. Allah, the Almighty, tells us in the Quran, and your Lord have decreed upon you not to worship any other than him, not to associate others with him, and to be good to your parents. Look at these two commandments. Tawheed, which is the greatest thing on earth. Tawheed, which is worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal and not associating any others with him in any form of worship. And then Allah associates with that to be good and kind and respectful to your parents. People with regard to their obedience and respect to their parents are divided into three sections or three types. The first type is those who do what they have to do in terms of obligations. They refrain from harming their parents, but they add an extra bit of obedience, respect, making them happy, doing whatever pleases them. So this type is inshallah in paradise and they are rewarded. The second type is the majority of us. Those who do the obligations, they provide for their parents a house, maybe they give them pocket money, they fill the refrigerator with food and they do not say anything that harms them or that makes them sad. Yet, they don't do anything extra. They don't do anything more to please them or they don't go out of their way to make them happy. This type, they're punished by Allah Azza wa Jal because they have left what is known as Al-Birr. They've done their obligation, but this is not enough with the parents. It's not enough to do your obligation. You have to do something that is extra so that you remain away from the punishment. And the third type are the minority 
but they are the most severely punished on the day of judgment or among those who are severely punished and those who do not do their obligation and they add to that insult they may shout at their parents they may beat their parents unfortunately as i've seen some cases very little but the, it, there are people who are that evil may allah azawajal protect us all and the muslims therefore one should try his level best to be among the first type their time is limited yet if you look at the things you can do without any problem it's not going to cost you anything if you look at these things you will find that it is easy when Allah Azza wa Jal makes it easy upon you so you have to seek Allah's help and guidance